What is up, guys? We are back with Golfing the Natural State. I'm fired up. First course rating of the year. So today we're in Waldron, Arkansas, playing Waldron Country Club. This is a nine hole course. As always, I'll play nine holes, see what we shoot, and then rate this course on a scale from zero to 10. Waldron Country Club, happy to be here. So far, cool little vibe here out in the, out in the country for sure. Here we are on hole number one is a 330 yard par four. Let's go, let's go see how this course is. 330 yards, I'm gonna just hit a uh, four iron. Nice little power fade there around the corner. I hope it, it looks like it bends to the right. I think we should be good over there. Just, just a little bit right of the fairway. We have 110 yards. You're gonna take a uh, 54 degree. It's pretty good. Just got over those trees, but. Just either just off the back or on the back there, right behind the flag. But that wedge shot was a little long. All right, my ball bounced off the back here. I thought it might be on the back of the green. It slopes pretty hard back here. It bounced once and rolled off the back here. Decent pitch shot. These are, I can already tell these are pretty slow. That's okay. Let's see if we can make a putt. We got about a three and a half, four footer for par on the first. It's a, this is a very calm, like serene setting, like pine trees. Uh, like your shots echo. It's a cool, it's a cool little vibe, man, for sure. Cattle pastures everywhere as you're driving out here. So it's kind of, you know, in the middle of nowhere, but cool vibe so far. Greens are decent. I mean, they're coming in. You can see they're greening up. Like it's early here in Arkansas, it's still March as I'm playing this. They'll come in even more. They're already pretty green. This looks like a pretty straight putt. Trust it, see if we can roll this first one in. Good stroke. I'll take par on the first. At number two here at Waldron Country Club, like this is a super cool hole. Like. Uh, you got surrounded by woods all around you behind you like pine trees and it's like playing like 20 yards downhill So the pin is on looks like middle and it's 200 playing 180 uh, I'm gonna absolutely try to destroy an 8 iron and hope that <laughs> It's downhill enough that it carries to the green really cool hole though And I am playing from the tips today. Just just FYI playing from the back tees here the blues I lost it to the right I'm about Probably pin high, but I'm like 20 or 30 yards right. Not a great swing. Here's kind of a better view uh, from, from the green where you're teeing off from up there up the hill. So it's pretty cool down the hill. Cool little like amphitheater vibe with the trees up there on the tee box. We're about 20 yards right of it. The good thing, the one good thing about the greens being slower, I can be a little bit more aggressive and fly it a little further toward the hole. Yeah, I flew it <laughs> almost through the hole. All right, we got about five feet here, five and a half feet for par. These greens look pretty flat. If anything, this might break a little left. So I'm gonna try to go right edge. There we go. A couple of good par saves to start the day. Okay, number three, showing on the sign to be 485 yard par five. Should be a reachable one. Looks like the tree, there's an oak tree. It looks like it's right in the middle of the fairway. I'm gonna start, try to start one left of it and see what happens. That was so pure, <laughs> and the sound, the sound in the trees felt like Hercules when I hit that ball. It sounded like an absolute cannon went off. That was pipe. Perfect drive. We actually did need to be left of that tree because that tree would block this shot kind of. We have 210 left. We didn't get any rollout at all. I, I'm not sure that's gotta be farther than 485 because I hit that ball hard. I'm gonna take a five iron at it. Oh my gosh, terrible swing, terrible swing. It's a hundred yards right of it. Just a runner, did not hit it good. All right, the errant shot made it up here pin high, but we're 40 yards right of it. Spin. That's fun. She's gonna be right there behind the camera. A little too much juice. We got about a 15 foot putt for birdie here. Again, the screen looks really flat. So that's one thing about this course so far. I've noticed the three holes. Not a lot of slope on the greens. It broke more than I thought. A little par on the par five. Hole number four here at Waldron Country Club. Or even par so far. This is a 375 yard par four. I'm gonna try to keep it up this right side and maybe hit a little cut. A little pull cut, but should be in the fairway up there. All right, great drive. 115 yards, full 54 degree. That thing went 10 miles in the air. Just let's pull a little bit. Just off the left side of the green, a couple yards left of it. Just a little bit of a pull. Contact was great, but and it was exactly the right distance, but 
just pulled it a little bit. Straight up the hill, man. We should uh, should have a chance to make this. Ah, uh, pretty weak effort. It went higher than I wanted to. I thought I was gonna hit a little punch and run, kind of. Sadly, we're scrambling today. It looks like on every hole, just about. Missing greens, man. I gotta quit doing it. This looks like a straight putt again. <laughs> <laughs> if there's anything I've taken away, they all look straight. That last one did break a little right. I'm gonna play this left center, hope for the best. Mm. That one wiggled kind of hard in the middle there. I don't know, I'm not sure about that roll, but bogey. Kind of deserved it missing the green from 115 yards. So. All right, number five here shows to be a 343 yard par four. Hopefully we can hit a good drive. I think it's dead straight. There's trees down the right side, it looks like, a lot on the right side of the tee box, pro tip. Whatever side of the hazard or out of bounds or whatever looks like trouble's on, tee up on that side of the tee box to give yourself more room to miss the opposite way. Pro tip. See if we can hit a good tee shot here. That's left. It's hit very hard. I mean, I think the whole straight, so I think we'll be just fine. Left is definitely the miss. 58 yards with the pinned rangefinder. Use code Drew Fortson Golf to save 15% off your order of a pinned rangefinder. These things are awesome. All right, 58 yards, 58 degree. It was meant to be. Need to hit a good shot here. We're due. Not bad. Good contact. 12 feet short. This green's the worst one yet. It just probably hasn't. You know, it hasn't been warm yet, so warm enough for these to come in yet, but this one's gonna be pretty rough. It's gonna bounce quite a bit. This one's just a hit and hope. But all these greens, man, are flat. I mean, there's not a lot of slope in these greens, which, <laughs> so that means I should be scoring way better than I am right now. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Bounced pretty bad. That was a good roll though, sadly. Green's just not quite there yet, but we'll take a par. I'm not sure if I got that tee shot on camera. I have two SD cards in here. The first one we got full, so I'm not sure if it picked it up, but um, it's just right of the cart path. So hopefully I got it, but if not, that's where it went. Missed it to the right, but it's actually a good thing because there's a pond over here to the left. So <laughs> it could have been in danger if I wouldn't have missed it to the right. 145 yards. I'm gonna try to smash a pitching wedge. See if we can get it there. What in the world was that? Gotta take advantage of the short par five here. Much better swing. Looks like it's all over it. Yeah, middle of the green, good shot. We're about 20 feet short. Great shot though. Uh, so we gotta look at eagle here. Just pick a line, trust it. Put like you're a kid, take my own advice. See if we can try to roll in an eagle or at least give a kick in bird here. That was the exact line, just didn't hit it. Good birdie though. All right, we finally got a birdie on this short course. So we'll hold number seven here at Waldron Country Club, 425 yard par four. That was crushed. That was hammered. Just now landed. There's some bear drinking sun guns out here, boy, at the Waldron Country Club. <laughs> All right, perfect drive, right in the middle of the fairway. 122 yards left, 50 degree. Pins in the middle of the green, inviting me in. Need to hit another good wedge shot here. A little stinger in there. Hit a little thin, I think. Spin, please. Yeah, just spun on the back. Our ball hit the green, hopped off the back. Not bad. Didn't quite get down the hill like I wanted. But... That putt stayed dead straight. Even with die speed, it didn't turn left at all. <laughs> I can't get this thing to, there down, even down the hill. It actually broke that way that time. I don't know. Bogey. Dang it. All right, hole number eight here. 145 yard par three. Gonna take a nine iron. Hopefully we can hit a green. Good swing there. Just right of it. Yep, good shot, good shot. That was a really good committed nine iron, about 10 feet right of the flag stick. So you're not gonna get a much better look at birdie than this one right here. So would love to see this one go in. Get there and it goes in. Gosh dang. Oh my goodness. 
Man, they're just a little bit slow and I'm not quite catching up to the speed difference yet. That was a great roll though. Shoot. This is another cool example of how like the green is like surrounded by these pine trees. It's really cool. All right guys, final hole here at Waldron Country Club. So far, I'm really impressed with this little course. I mean, it's it's been great. So stay tuned after this hole, after we finish up, I'll give this course a rating on a scale from zero to 10. Again, the rating scale is zero is like awful, like a dirt field. 10 is like Augusta National. So, you know, it's gotta be super, super nice to get anywhere close to a 10 and it's really bad if it's close to a zero, so. And again, my criteria is mostly course condition. I mean, clubhouse, things like that don't really play a huge factor, but you know, I include them in facilities overall, but overall, mostly the course condition and how I feel like the vibe of the course or, um, you know, the, you know, the course layout and just overall quality of the greens, fair, tee boxes, fairways, things like that. So stay tuned for a rating after this hole. All right, the angle here looks like on the scorecard, you gotta cut the corner, 327 yard par four. So uh, you can either play it safe up the fairway or try to cut the corner with a driver. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. So let's see if we can cut the corner here. Right over the corner, a little bit further left than I wanna be, but should have a good angle in, I would think. Well, we found the fairway. We just didn't cut quite enough of the corner off, but I'll take it. I'm gonna lift clean and place this bad boy right here on the good lie. 68 yards, gonna hit a little knockdown shot, see if we can get one close. Might be deep, but it's a good, good strike. Yeah, probably about 15 feet behind. Look at the divot I just took. <laughs> good strike. Well, we're a little deeper than I thought, actually. Almost on the back of the green. This green is rough. This green's in pretty tough condition right now. It's gonna bounce a lot, and they're not super fast, so it's kind of hard to judge. Whoa, <laughs> that thing went crazy there at the last uh, three feet. Let's finish this thing off with a par here. There we go. That's it from Waldron Country Club. All right, guys, that's gonna do it from Waldron Country Club here in Waldron, Arkansas. I think this is stop number 12 or 13. You'll see by the title of the Golfing the Natural State tour. So I'm going around the state. For those of you who may not have seen all the episodes yet, I have a playlist on my channel where I go and I do this. I'm trying to play every course in the state of Arkansas. So that's my mission. I'm trying to rate them all on a scale from zero to 10. We shot one over here at Waldron Country Club. And overall, I'm not going to lie, this is a pretty cool course. It's a nine hole course. So they only have one nine. You play it twice to play 18. Like I said, it's really country feel. The town's a small town, but the course was surprisingly good. I mean, we just had downpours the last couple days and it was still in decent condition and it's it's early in the year. It's like mid-March right now and the courses, you know, here in Arkansas don't get good till really the summer when the Bermuda starts getting hot weather on it. Um, so these greens are going to come in. A couple of them aren't in great shape. Uh, the majority of them rolled okay. Overall, super fun track to play. I would definitely come play it again. Uh, if you live close to Waldron, I'd say within 30 minutes, definitely worth the trip to come play it. So for a rating of this course, I'm going to give Waldron Country Club a 7.1. 7.1, and that's a that's a really good score, especially for a nine-hole course. 7.1 is the official rating of Waldron Country Club. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.